Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, comrades and friends, as we com commemorate our heroes and heroines of the liberation struggle, let us be alive to the new realities of today and break new frontiers through the creation of knowledge societies, promotion of inventions, creative innovations, and entrepreneurship, which are responsive to our current and future national needs. In this regard, I exhort all of us in all spheres to be cognizant of the socio-economic, scientific, and technological realities that our nation faces in an ever-changing global environment. We should strive to develop solutions to our challenges, whilst equally maximizing today's opportunities in our quest to grow our economy. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, comrades and friends, as we aspire to attain Vision 2030, let us consistently cherish the ideals that brought us to where we are today. In line with the spirit and letter of Section 23 of our Constitution, my government, the new dispensation, will continue to accord to respect honor and recognition to veterans of the liberation struggle. To this end, government developing liberation war sites into tourist sites where our history and that of the fallen heroes will continuously be told for generations to come as well as to the world at large. In addition, the Liberation War Heritage Program, which redevelops and reinterprets various memorials in different parts of the country, will also endeavor to correct historical inaccuracies that are at times perpetuated through built monuments from the colonial era. Ladies and gentlemen, comrades and friends, as we commemorate this year's Heroes Day, let us remain peaceful, united, and rebuild our country together, always safeguarding our national security, independence, territorial integrity and sovereignty, which our living and departed heroes and heroines fought for. <laughs>